Hey, well, if you saw the last video, you know I uh, had a whole bag of styrofoam bunny rabbits to play with. And casting more than one just normal bunny rabbit that actually works seems kind of boring, you know. So, when I have more than one or something like that, and then I feel like I want to do something different. Sometimes I'll chop a piece off of one and make it into part of something else. I've made some belt buckles that way out of styrofoam skulls. You know, this and that. Uh, I had a funny idea with these bunny rabbits, so uh, we'll see what I can conjure up out of the sand here tonight. This time, since I've been casting it in bronze again, even though it's not as wide as a full bunny rabbit body, which would uh, make it more prone to sand float, like we saw last time when I cast it in bronze, uh, I use a taller bucket, buried it deeper. I used uh, my reciprocating saw to vibrate the bucket pr properly instead of just tapping on it like usual. And I put these weights on the sand, and that should all help uh, prevent it from floating this time. I uh, also got back into my green sand, mulled up a half a bucket worth to make this ingot mold, because I don't like pouring uh, bronze into my those ingot molds, because well, you see that copper ingot that's permanently stuck in there now, that's why. But uh, my sand works so great now that it's not frozen anymore. So I got the bug to do more sand casting now. And I got a project coming up that will let me make some molds this way. Which I love doing. It's kind of the best part. Lost foam is fun and all. But it's not as fun as sand casting. I think that went well. Sand didn't float. I might have stopped pouring a little too soon, but I think I got I got to it. Let's see. 